9 verse 12. So I'm asking, them, basically, it's a, it's a challenge. You know, um, Christians, basically, what they do is um, whatever verse that is suitable for them, and it's about Jesus, and it's in the Old Testament, they quote those verses from Old Testament to say this is about Jesus. But when Muslims quote from Old Testament and we say this is about Prophet Muhammad, they deny about that. It's like basically Jews also reject when Christians quote from Old Testament to justify their points about Jesus from the New Old Testament. So same they do to us and also we do the same to them. So now I want Christians, they say they have the Holy Spirit to understand the Bible. If they have the Holy Spirit to understand the Bible, I want Christians, if they deny Isaiah chapter 29, verse 12, where it says the illiterate will be given a book and he will be asked to read and he will say, I do not know how to read. Christians here believe Isaiah chapter 29, verse 12 is not about Prophet Muhammad, but we Muslims claim that is Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, as it says in Sahil Bukhari and Hadith number, and chapter is the revelation, the beginning of the revelation, chapter 3, and Andrew Jibreel, when Andrew Jibreel came to the Prophet and asked to read, and Prophet Muhammad, we know, and everyone know, everyone knows, Christians know, and Judas, Ju Jews know, and Muslims know, that the illiterate, the only illiterate Prophet in history is Prophet Muhammad. There is no another Prophet who is illiterate. So if they have another person who is the Ill an illiterate and will be given a book, I want, uh, what's your name? John. I want John to explain to me if he denies Isaiah chapter 12 and chapter 29 verse 12, if he's not Prophet Muhammad, I want him to tell me if he got the Holy Spirit with him to explain to me who is that illiterate prof and person in the book of Isaiah chapter 29 and what book, what is the name of the book and when was he given that book. If you don't know who is that illiterate and who, what book was he given, what book was given to him and what is the name of the book, when was he given that book to him. So I'm just going to ask you this very quick. It's yeah. going to be a short debate. Right? Yeah. The fact is, we always, when we're reading any biblical literature, we ask in the wider context. It's the same with the Quran, for example. The Quran claims a lot of things, and Muslims claim you're not implying the meaning of the context. So um, that's what I'm doing with the Bible. You have to imply what the means of the context are in, the cha in chapter 29, verse 12 of the, of the Bible, right? You can't just read one verse and then claim Muhammad's it. Right? Yes. We're going to read from chapter 7 all the way to chapter 12. And the most of depth of all, the nations that fight against everyone, even all that fight against her and her munition, and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision. So I want you to understand that as is used here, by an analogy, it is like that, a simile. I just, I just want to buy that. It shall even be as when a hungry man dreameth and beholdeth he eat and he awaketh and his soul is empty. Or as when a thirsty man dreameth and behold he drinketh, but he waketh and behold he is faint, and his soul have out. So shall the most suitable of all nations be that fight against the Mount Ma Sinai. So what God is doing is he's comparing one who's empty when, when they haven't eaten or they've gone to bed empty to those that fight against Mount Sinai, to those very nations that must be fight against Mount Sinai. Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken but not with wine. They stagger but not with strong drink. This is speaking about Israel. Right? For the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. What's happening is God is pouring out a, a spirit of blindness upon Israel and has closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers have seen converted. And the vision of all, so the vision, not a book, the vision is become unto you as the words of a book. Remember, we were using the words as earlier to describe someone who's thirsty as a nation. A, a thirsty man is not a nation. You do realise those things are totally different, right? And the vision will always become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is known. I'm reading, well, I'm reading 11, Bro. I've gone to 12, right? Oh, you're reading chapter 11. So let me finish, all right? So 11? I, did, I, did, I did give you time. Oh, okay. Right? And the vision of always will come unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee, and he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. So the book is sealed. The vision of all is become sealed. It's talking about the vision of prophecy. It's not talking about Muhammad, it can't be. 
and the book is delivered to him that is not yet. Who is delivering the book? In a minute context, it's men who are delivering the book. Now the, the, the Sahih Hadith say no, it was Muhammad, it was it was Gabriel who gave Muhammad the book. Hold on, it's the same men delivered the book, so we call me Muhammad. And the book is delivered to him that is not. He and who's going to deliver the book? Read this, I pray thee. Now and who's he going said, to deliver the book? Not learned. Who's going to deliver the book? Do you want to read is it out? A man? No, is it a oh, okay. man? Okay, so in the immediate course it says, and the vision of all uh -huh. is, is become unto you as the word of book, as the as like the words of a book. It's not talking about the words of a book, it's saying as like a words of a book. The vision is like the words of a book. This is an analogy. Uh -huh. If I say you are the apple of my eye, I'm uh -huh. not saying you're an apple in my eye. It's an analogy. So God is using an analogous language, he's not being literal. I don't know how. <laughs> Okay, and the vision of you has become to as the words of a book, that is to which men, men, not not G, not Gabriel, men deliver to one that is learned to say, I read this, I pray thee, and he says, I cannot, for it's still, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, and I pray thee, he, he said, I am not learned. So the one who's reading the book has received the book, according, if you think it's Mamid, from a man, not from Gabriel. Okay. So uh, ultimately, the verse is not talking about a prophet in a few words. Okay. It's talking about a Okay. Next verse 13. Next verse 13. Yeah, yeah, the next verse. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll read, it, I'll read the next verse. Jesus calls and explains it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, so, so basically, just to add on to that. Yeah, Matthew 15. Which verse? Matthew 15. He says, Isaiah was right. Yeah, 18 Okay, so what I'll do is this, and then and then this is this is quoted by Jesus in Matthew 15, right? Wherefore the Lord said, for to, to say, for, sorry, for as much as these people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips to honour me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. So again, this, this, by the way, this is quoted by Jesus in Matthew 15. Proving Jesus is God, by the way, we can get into that. Because Jesus no, himself is saying no, that no, these people no, are far away from you. But the fact is, even if it's not a topic, right? Even if no, it's I don't want that topic. So I just ask the question. I'm coming to Is it the to case that, that Gabriel is a man? If Gabriel's a man, or if he's men, then, then this is talking about revelation. But it can't be, because it's talking about an analogy of Israel. It's not talking about men. It's saying that like a, rev like a, a book is delivered to that which is learned, it's still, they cannot read this. Israel is blind. Israel is blind the same way that, that a person who's unlearned cannot read a book. And that's what we're talking about. It's not okay. And first of all, he read the wrong translation. I go here with the original Hebrew language, which is translated from in Hebrew to English. This is the King James. The well, King language. James, okay, that one, I don't accept that one. I go here, I go here, the Hebrew language, Old Testament, it trans is translated, it says, and is delivered the book to one who is, who is not illiterate, who is not illiterate, who not is illiterate. The book saying, read, please, this. And he says, I am, not, I am literate. I cannot read. This is the original from original text. But what he says, he said, a man. First of all, he forgot that Angel Jibreel used to come pro to Prophet Muhammad as, an, as a form of a man. That's the answer. He said, is Angel Jibreel, uh, Gabriel a man? And I said, in many times, Prophet Sallallahu and his companions, he, he was with his companions, and Angel Gabriel came to him. He appeared as a form of a man. So sometimes angels do have a form of man. So until now, the context it says here, Christians, which they not applying, what they're not applying in the context is, they cannot tell us who is this person, illiterate person, that he was given to a book and he will be asked to read and he's going to say, I do not know how to read. So my challenge to Christians, if they deny that person is not Prophet Muhammad and they claim they have the Holy Spirit, who is that illiterate? Is there any prophet in the Old Testament or, or where it says uh, the illiterate person, the illiterate person, man, who was going to be given a book and he will be asked to read a book and he will say, I do not know how to read. 
Also in Isaiah chapter 28, verse 10 to 12, it oh, says, topic, no, no, same, same, same. No, yeah, same, same, right, same, because, same. That, because that, you said context, I'm saying the context, that's not the because context it says God will speak to his people with a foreign language. His people are Israelites, and their language is Hebrew language, and it says he will speak to his people with a foreign language, and that here it says the illiterate will be given a book. If that's not prophet, I'm challenging you, Christians, and you tell me if you have the Holy Spirit, who is this person that was given a book, and what book was given, what is the name of the book, and who, when was he given? I want okay, you to right. explain so, so as this you can verse. See, Taraj is actually going to blue letter Bible. Because we see the, the only prophet the who, cla who is illiterate, who is, okay. So Taraj is going to link right? because he wants to prove that this is talking about prophet. I'm claiming that no, it can't be. Because as you saw in the previous chapters I read, this is, talking, this is not talking about a prophet. The language I use, Muslims, it says here, it shall be as even when a hungry man dreameth. What, no, what chapter is that? So what this, verse? Is, this is verse 8. This is the same chapter, 29. Verse 8, verse, yes. Right? Let me go to the. So when, when the Bible uses it shall be or it, it as, when it uses it shall be or is it as, it's using analogy. And I've explained this to Raj Paul, he's not getting an analogy. Analogy means a story to portray a point. What, what the, God, the Lord God is using is this to portray a point. He's not talking about prophet. But even if we were to assume some is correct and he's talking about prophet. Let's read Matthew, as my brother here has mentioned, let's read Matthew 15, right? Let's read Matthew 15. All right, so let's read Matthew 15. It says this, and this is Jesus Christ speaking, right? For God said, honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father and mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is devoted to God, they are not to honor their father and mother with it. Thus you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about them. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. This their is not answer. This is not the same thoughts. context. Is Jesus this is an illiterate? Talking, this is written. I'm asking, is Jesus oh, an right, illiterate? Right, right, you're talking over. I thought no, we going to have a conversation. Wait, wait, wait. Is Jesus an illiterate? I'm going to quote the verse. I just want your answer. It cannot be. You go to, to Matthew. Matthew's got nothing to do with this. Isaiah. For as much as people Two different with context. their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but finish. they remove their heart. There's no finish. From me. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. So it's clear, even if this was talking about a prophet, it wouldn't be talking about Muhammad. But just to hold in the point, it's not talking about Muhammad. The word men is used. It says here in, in verse 11 of Isaiah 29, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver. Now, the that saw here do say that, that the angel Gabriel delivered prophecy to Muhammad. It doesn't say men. Men is a plural. It means multiple men. It doesn't mean one. So when he says that this is talking about Muhammad, it can't be because Muhammad didn't receive revelation from multiple men. It doesn't say ma men. It yes, says it man. It says man. Yeah, it says man. I can read it out to you again. And the vision voice will come unto you as the words of the book that is sealed, when which men deliver to, to one that is learned. He's not saying men. He's not saying men. Totally, you okay, lie. Let, let me read, let it me doesn't read that say me. men. Yeah. Because this, this Bible is it doesn't say men, no. King James Version is wrong. It doesn't say men. The original read, text says, in it. Hebrew is here. The, a man will be delivered a book, not men. I go here. I don't know where he got from King James Version. I go the Hebrew language. Yes. It says illiterate. It says man, not men. It doesn't say, it doesn't yes. say man, it says man. It says man. It says man. And in the, in is the delivered. Of the, the now, Bible. Greek, forget about Greek. The original the language of the Old Testament. The which is our now, the original language the of Tanakh to, and Torah is Hebrew. I got the Hebrew translated into English. It's here. It says the man will be delivered. It says a man, a man. It says, and he says not, um, I am literate, I cannot read, it says a man, not men. And also, also Jesus, also Jesus also predicted Prophet Muhammad He said in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 21, verse 43, he said to Jews, there will be a time, the kingdom will be taken away from you and it shall be given to another nation who is going to produce its fruit. 
and that applies its similar verse as Genesis chapter 17 verse 20 where God of the Bible promised to bless to bless Ishmael and his offspring it says for Ishmael I have heard for Ishmael I'm going to bless him I'll bless him and he will be the ruler or if he will be a father no, of the no. 12 ruler and he's going to Abraham produce comes, its comes fruitful. Isaac, so now, so now, so Genesis 17, so, 20. Genesis, uh, Ishmael is not a descendant Can of Isaac's line, therefore no. he's not Genesis part of the Genesis is the as descendant. The and as Jesus are, because Jesus is the final fulfillment of that covenant. Okay. That's why it says in Matthew 6, 17 that Jesus fulfills finish. the law, because he's the final fulfillment of that covenant. You don't know how to read the Bible. Okay, so now basically what I'm trying to say is Islam, Prophet Muhammad, Quran, all is mentioned in the Old Testament. I can give even in the New Testament. Okay, so but Christians the Testament, always try to lie. Jesus said that another comforter will come oh, and well, he, will, he will <laughs> shall guide you okay. to the truth. Can I go to that so now, can we go what to I'm that asking is... Can, yes. Can we go to that yes. Okay, John 14, let's go to yes. that John Yes. Okay, John you're, you're going to disagree with this yes. unless, no. unless you're no. on the section. No, no, no. Can you start from John 16, 17, please? And see what it says. I'm there. going to John 14 because I was yeah. Right? yeah. No, I want 16 as well, yeah? And 16 to 7. It's, it's fine. Come on, but let's, let's just go to John 14 first and then yeah. go to John 16. Yeah. You don't read the Bible like you must read the Quran. Yeah, okay. Read I will quote from the Bible about the Quran, about Prophet Muhammad, about the Hajj. All this is about Islam. It's in the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah, bro. Wait, wait, wait. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this. Yeah. All right. So this is John 14, right? Yeah. So you're gonna disagree with what? what you no, just, just this one. I want other verses. John 16, 7 as well. Right, right. That's, that's fine. But what we're not gonna do is first, yeah. Because the Bible has context. Not like yeah, the Quran, where context, there's no context. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. No. Actually, makes sense. Mine is makes sense, but yours doesn't so your make sense. No According sense. to you, yeah. Sense, right? But anyway, According this is what it says, right? And I will pray the, the Father, and he shall give you another comfort, yes. that he may abide with you forever. Yes. Forever. Thank forever, you. Forever. Right? That's what Prophet came with, Even is the, the Quran. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world the cannot receive, of the truth because is it Prophet Muhammad. seeth not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Now is Muhammad a man going to be inside you? No, it's not. That's a metaphor. Liar. That's a metaphor. Because so Christians... Christians the, the always, says, Christians Muhammad always Muhammad use some verses of the Bible. It's a metaphor. So when we say it's a metaphor, they say no. But when it's to no, no, them, no, no, no. it's From a metaphor. Text, the of truth. So now let me come to the point. What did Jesus think I'm the challenging. Truth was? I'm challenging Christians. Jesus said the of truth. What did you think the spirit I'm of truth challenging was? Christians. The spirit of the truth. Jesus said he will glorify me. Prophet Muhammad in the Quran. The Quran Prophet. And I'm going to read it out. So okay. I'm going to debunk every claim you make. Okay. Right? This is where he says you it's speak. the Holy Spirit. Two minutes. Can you hold him? Can you give this him two is, minutes? This please? is this is two minutes, John please. 14. Can you time for him? Two minutes. The very same chapter no I read out, by the way. Can you time for us, please? Two says, minutes. But the comfort, Stop what, which yeah? is the Holy Stop what. Spirit. Two minutes. Whom the Father will send in my name, yeah. he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your members, whatsoever I have said to you. So this is talking about the Holy Spirit, not your, your prophet Muhammad. Thank you. I will debunk. That is not the Holy Spirit. Clearly, do you know why? Jesus explained the Bible. No, I'm telling you, I'm coming. Jesus explained the Bible, yes? He said context. So the context, Christians always think the comforter... Okay, you can go. Okay, we doesn't matter. Okay, so he said the comforter here is the Holy Spirit. I'm using the same Bible he I quoted. That, by the way, it's the Bible that said no, that. No, yeah, I, okay. I, I, I want to quote the, uh, okay. the verse, actually. No, I'm going to count that point. No, 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 I'm going to debunk that point. Okay, can you not stay? Okay, so now, he said the Holy Spirit is the comforter, yes? So listen here. Logically, Christians, wait, wait, brother, doesn't matter. Brother, doesn't matter. I'm using the Bible. He said that's the Holy Spirit. He said that's the Holy Spirit. Definitely, that cannot be the Holy Spirit. Do you know why? Christians believe the Holy Spirit is God, yes? If the Holy Spirit is God, but Jesus told us the Comforter will not speak by his own, but he's going to be inspired by God. He cannot speak by his own. So if the Holy Spirit is God, that means the Holy Spirit should speak by his own, but Jesus said the Comforter, the Spirit of the Truth, shall speak, shall not speak by his own, but it's what he heard from God. He hears from God. Oh, yeah. Okay, now. Yeah. You got his mic. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. 
So the Holy Spirit, okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. No, no problem. No, I'm using now. I'm using, doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm coming to the point. The comforter is not the Holy Spirit because, you know, brother, listen. You're like a slave to the white man. Brother, listen, please. Brother, brother, wait, brother. Brother, 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 please. Brother, 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 you distracted me, brother, brother, you distracted me. Okay, no, he's gone, no, the guy is gone. Okay, what I'm going to say here, brother, 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 Achi, Achi, respectfully, please, ignore him. So what I'm saying is, brother. Yeah? Brother, Listen, please, me, brother. Just be please, brother, please, lies, lies. David, David, please, brother. Yeah, so yeah. shall I stop Listen. talking then? Just man. five, <laughs> five minutes, five minutes, brother. Please calm down, brother. Calm down, David. David, allow it, allow it. Please allow it. Okay, brother. Otherwise, you're distracting me. Please, polite, brother. Calm down. calm down. That's what they're looking for. So. Christians always say the comforter is the Holy Spirit. That cannot be the Holy Spirit because Jesus said, in order the comforter to come, Jesus must go. If Jesus is there, the Holy Spirit must not be there. The Holy Spirit and Jesus always were there at the same time. Like in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 49, Jesus said to his disciples, wait here, the Holy Spirit will come and fill up, fill up in you the power of God. So, and Jesus said, the com in order the Comforter to come, the Spirit of the Truth, he said in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 7, he said, the Spirit of the Truth shall not come unless I go. That means Jesus and the Comforter cannot be there at the same time. In order the Comforter to come, Jesus must go. But Jesus and the Holy Spirit were there at the same time, so that cannot be the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit was there with Jesus, and with Jesus, his time before he ascended. But the Comforter must come after Jesus ascended to heaven. So therefore, the Comforter is the Prophet Muhammad, and what dwells with us is the Quran. So what I'm saying is the Gospel, and the, what I'm saying is in the book of an Psalm. Chapter 82, verse 5, 6, it says, it talks about the pilgrimage. And the only people who does pilgrimage is Muslims. It says, it says also in, in chapter, in eight, Psalm chapter 84, verse 5, 6, it says the name Baka. Another name for Baka, another name for Makkah, it's got two names in the Quran. In the Bible, it says Baka. In the Quran also it says Baka. In the Quran chapter 3 verse 96, Allah said the first house was built for the sake of Allah. For Allah is the one, it's in Baka. In the, because in the Psalm chapter 84 verse 5, 6, it says also the name Baka. So same name, chapter 3 verse 96. In Isaiah chapter and uh, chapter 42 verse 11 it says also the the wilderness let them sing from the mountain of Silla and Silla is a mountain in Medina that is clear about prophet prophecy of prophet Muhammad and also in Genesis God promised to bless Ishmael and his and his offspring it says Genesis chapter 60 and chapter 17 verse 20 God of the Bible said for Ishmael I have had and I will bless him I will bless Ishmael I will bless him and he will be the father of the 12 rulers which is raised the tribe of Prophet Muhammad and that's what Prophet Muhammad said in the hadith Sayyid Muslim and hadith number 22 verse 76 Prophet said Allah has chosen Kinana from the children of Ishmael and he has chosen and Quraysh from the children of Kinana he has chosen and and Bani Hashim from Quraysh and he has chosen me from the children of Bani Hashim and God of the Bible promised what to bless Ishmael 
and his offspring and he will be a ruler he will be a father of the 12 rulers and jesus said what well, in the gospel of matthew chapter 21 verse 43 he said to the jews and there will be a time to come that the kingdom will be taken away from you and it shall be given to another nation. Apply this verse to Genesis chapter 17 verse 20 where God of the Bible promised to bless Ishmael and his, and his offspring. And he, and he said, he said they will produce it's fruitful. The kingdom, he will bless them. He said even, if I open the verse in Genesis chapter 17 verse 20, Genesis 17 20. Here it says, as for Ishmael, I have heard you. I will surely bless him. Bless him. I will make him fruitful. And I will greatly increase his numbers. He will be the father of the twelve rulers. He will make him into a great nation. And Jesus also said, What? Well, the kingdom will be taken away from Jews and will be given to another nation. And God promised to bless the nation of Ishmael. Jesus said the kingdom will be taken away from Jews and will be given to another nation who is going to produce its fruitful. And here same word it says what? He will be, and it says, I will make him fruitful. Who? Ishmael and his descendant. And Jesus said what in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 2, verse 43, same thing. The kingdom will be taken away from Ishmael and the Jews. That's why Jews rejected Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa But Christians, every time lie about deny the any verses of the bible which talks about prophet muhammad but they force old testament any verse that try to indicate prayer and jesus like example Isaiah then chapter 9 verse 6 they say that it talks about jesus but jews believe that it's not about jesus it's another person also that's the context if we read the context it's not about jesus but christians only quote that verse chapter 9 verse 6 but they don't read this context so now again they say as I you need to read the context chapter 29 verse 12 it's not about Prophet Muhammad if it's not about Prophet Muhammad who is that person it says the illiterate will be given a book and we know the only illiterate person prophet who, who and who is illiterate is Prophet Muhammad if Christians have another illiterate prophet another illiterate person and they have the Holy Spirit to understand the Bible tell us who is that illiterate person who Given was given a book. What 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 is the name of the book he was given, and when was it given? <coughs> and the other thing is, if the holy the spirit of the truth is not the Holy Spirit, Christians are asking. It's not Prophet Muhammad, and they say it's the Holy Spirit, and it's not Prophet Muhammad. If it's not Prophet Muhammad, and it's the Holy Spirit, I debunk that one. It can never be the Holy Spirit, because in order the Comforter to come, Jesus must go away. So the Holy Spirit was already there with Jesus, though that can never be the Holy Spirit. So if that is not the Holy Spirit, and it's not Paul, because you believe Paul is seen and met with Jesus, so that can never be the Holy Spirit, and that can never be the Holy Spirit. So who is that uh, the, uh, spirit of the truth? It is not the Holy Spirit, and it's not Paul. And who is that if you have the Holy Spirit to understand? <coughs> My question is, Christians always say Jesus is the way and the truth. If Jesus is the way and the truth to God and he came to, to us to guide, why he needed another comforter to guide us? That means Jesus was the way and the truth only when he was on this earth. When he left, the comforter was the way to God. Otherwise, Jesus could not say the spirit of the truth. When he comes, the comforter, he will guide you and he will tell you everything. So, if Jesus is the way to God, why he needed another comforter to come and guide us? That means Jesus was only the was the way only, was only the way when he was on this earth, not after he ascended. Because after he ascended, the Spirit of the Truth, which is Prophet Muhammad, is the way to God. If it's not Prophet Muhammad, tell us Christians who is that comforter and who's the Spirit of the Truth. That's my challenge. That can never be the Holy Spirit. I already banned, and that can never be. And hold. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.